What's it YouTube? Dad from Zephyr War Games, and finally I can bring you my updated Red Eyes Black Dragon deck. And the reason this has taken so long to put together is because I've been waiting to get my hands on another one of the Red Eyes Baby Dragons. Um, now, as you can imagine, they have been incredibly hard to get hold of, um, and it is very disappointing that I have to announce that it, it, Red Eyes will never be budget until that gets a reprint. Unlike Blue Eyes and Dark Magician that got prints in main sets and then those main sets got reprinted, um, the mini core sets that you get, the stuff like that you get your um, legendary duelist, stuff like that, um, haven't ever really seen, even though they contain reprints themselves, their main cards haven't really seen any reprints at all. I mean, alright, Card of Demise has been reprinted and um, Ross Fear Mode has been reprinted, but then you look at the other cards that came in, like your Left Arm Offering hasn't been reprinted, um, your... Amazonist stuff hasn't been reprinted yet, your Red Eye stuff hasn't been reprinted yet, and it's the exact same with the Crystal Beast stuff. Again, it's more for collector's value and those that want the cards and those that used to play Crystal Beast, but because they're not going to get reprints anytime soon, they're a lot harder to get hold of. Regardless, here is the updated version. Um, I would like to say it's budget, but it unfortunately isn't. Um, and what I have done is I've brought you a nice little twist on this. I have gone with the Claw of Hermos in the, uh, Hermos, sorry, in this deck, and um, just to add a little bit different to the deck. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through it, show you what we got, and then I can tell you some of the alternatives that you can play in this deck um, to jazz it up a little bit more if you wanted to. So you play Triple Red Eyes Black Dragon, very straightforward on that one. Um, I've chosen to play Triple Black Metal Dragon, and the reason I'm playing three of this is because it combos off quite nicely to Gear Freed the Red Eyes Iron Knight because it counts itself as a Red Eyes card. You get to target a red eyes monster you control, equip this monster from your hand or field to that target, you gain 600 attack. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you add a red eyes card from your um, deck to your hand. Now, Gear Freed is once per turn, it, um, if either player equips an equip card to this card, you can destroy the equip card, um, then you can destroy one spell or track card your opponent controls, and then once per turn, you can send one equip card you control to the graveyard uh, that is equipped to this card to the graveyard, then take one level 7 or lower red eyes monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So it gives you a lot of recyclability in the deck uh, and a lot of um, revival as well. On top of that, you can play reinforce, reinforcement in, of the army in this deck, just to make sure you can search this guy out and a bit of deck thinning, or you can play a third copy. I don't own a third copy as of yet, um, but two is probably just enough. You don't want it to clog too much, whereas um, a rotor would actually help deck thin a little bit more, which could be quite helpful. Uh, next up, I'll play two Blackstone of Legends. You don't need to play three of this at this moment in time anymore, uh, because... You know, it can be very, very cloggy, especially with the speed that you've got to keep up with in the game. Links have helped this deck in the fact that it's slowed the game down a little bit, um, but even then, Red Eye still needs to play catch up. Uh, we're then also playing two Red Eyes Baby Dragon. This card is incredibly powerful in the deck, which is why it's so hard to get hold of and why it's so sought after. So when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster from your deck. And if you do, equip this card from your graveyard to it, it gains 300 attack. If this card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster, you can add one level 1 dragon monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand, so you then get to revive your stones and reuse your stones. We've then got two Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. Now, you can drop this down to one, to be totally honest with you. If you wanted to, you drop this down to one and um, put your gear freed or you'll put your rotor in for your gear freed if you want to go down that more focal point. And the reason we've got two of this is because there are other chances where you'll draw into one, you still want one left in deck. Uh, just to mix it up, I am playing Summon Skull, just because it's an OGR, it's really, really good, um, and just so I've got access to the Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. You don't have to play it, it's entirely up to you, um, this is just more for nostalgia plays, and just get to get into the Archfiend a bit more. There are different variants of this where you go more um, turbo-based, which I'll show you as we get to the end, and go from there. Play the Run Red Eyes Black Flare Dragon, again, incredibly powerful card, and then one of the most important cards in the day is the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Uh, now on to the spells. Thankfully, these cards did get a reprint, uh, and that is Return of the Dragon Lord. So we play this guy at three, or this card at three. Incredibly powerful. You get it's just basically a monster reborn. Um, so you've actually got five monster reborns for your red eyes in this deck. You've got uh, three of these, two silvers, quite sorry, six and monster reborn on top of that. Um, so you've got a lot of revival in the deck, which is very very helpful um, to move you forward for your turbo combo plays. Uh, I play Triple Allure of Darkness. You've got a hell of a lot of dark targets. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all dark, actually. Yeah, all dark targets, so why not play Allure? Like, sometimes Stone could be dead. I know it's not always going to be dead. Sometimes this can be dead. Sometimes that can be dead. Um, 
uh, the one thing you don't want to be vanishing is your red eyes. Um, now, obviously, if you do change this into the melody, um, not the melody, sorry, the revival rhapsody um, kind of play, you can take down your meteor dragon. You could probably take out all both the meteor dragons and the summon skull if you wanted to, um, kind of minimise your main deck down a little bit more, uh, and then put those in. But in this build, Laura Dynasty is actually very, very helpful and powerful. Uh, Triple Oil Red Eyes Insight pretty much searches out all your Red Eyes spells and traps. Um, we play Double Fusion, again because it's searchable. Double Cards of the Redstone, because it specifically has to send the level 7 Red Eyes monster um, from your hand to the graveyard, so you either search it to, uh, to do it, um, but this actually helps out quite nicely for Return. Uh, and unfortunately, unlike Blue Eyes, level 7 cards for discard and draw power really got shafted, um, because they're ones you have to banish... Um, and stuff like that, like exactly like a law, and of course the uh, Sacred Swords of Seven, whereas Blue Eyes, it's just send it to the graveyard. Cool, draw two, uh, and off you go. Uh, two two Silver's Cry, of course, getting back your Red Eyes is what you want. The one Soul Charge, um, you can easily take this out if you wanted to and put in like Foolish Barrel to kind of help move your place forward a little bit, or the Roder, but it can also win you games. The one Regeki for Ball Whites, because sometimes Red Eyes can struggle depending on what your opponent's built up. The one Claw of Hermos for the play of that one. And then the one once reborn. And then finally for the traps, we've got the two Red Eyes Fang with Chain. Incredibly cool card. I love the artwork. I think it's really, really cool. You target a Red Eyes monster, you control, equip this card to it. It can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. You can send this equipped card to the graveyard, then target one effect monster on the field. Equip that target to this monster. This card was equi um, equipped to. And if you do, one monster is equipped by this effect. Its attack and defense become equal to its original attack and defense of the equipped monster. So it's a lot of looping around with that. But if you can put this onto any of your Red Eyes monsters, so obviously your Archfiend and Black Skull Dragon when it's treated as a Red Eyes Fusion, you can get a bit more um, bang for your buck on that one. And then two Return of the Red Eyes, which is obviously your continuous monster reborn, uh, not monster reborn, sorry, Call of the Haunted. Again, there are other ways you can rope with this one. You can go with the Serial Spell FTK version. Not very consistent, but it is an option for you. So moving on to the fusions, we've got the one Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. I really, really like this card. I think the artwork is amazing. Um, you don't have to play this at all. This is definitely personal choice, um, but I really, really like it. The one Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword, of course, Claw, uh, Claw of Hermos play. Then you've got your Red Eyes Slash Dragon and your one Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Again, two very, very powerful cards, and they give you a couple of options as you go forward, especially with your Red Eyes Fusion. Uh, for our links, starting at the bottom, we've got the one Link Spider, the one Proxy Dragon, and the one Akasic. Now, you can change the Akasic for a Proxy Dragon if you wish. I just like having this in my deck as an out to a Deco Talker. Not that it's a big threat, um, but it just gives me an option should I need it, or any kind my opponent might foolishly put something in front of it, or if I side in my Kaijus. Uh, the one at Klehort Genesis, now this goes off with your um, number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk, which we'll show you towards the end. We've got the one Deco Talker as an option for a Link 3, and then our Link 4s, we've got a Ceruja and we've got a Borrowload. Borrowload is obviously incredibly powerful at this moment in time, and Ceruja can be made and again be very, very powerful and useful for the deck. Um, what you can also do on top of that, if you wanted to, is you could take either of these two out or a decode and go into your um, Firewall Dragon. And Firewall Dragon is a lot easier made because it doesn't require like specific effect monsters or monsters with different names and stuff like that. So it does give you a couple of options to play with. For our XYZs, we play, of course, the busted number 42 Galaxy Tomahawk. This giving you machine tokens lets you go into your uh, Genius, um, then it goes into your Decode, uh, not the Decode, sorry, your Proxy Dragon, then your Link Spider, and you've already got three Link Monsters on board, and then you're good to push forward for, uh, further forward for more plays. Uh, your number 11 Big Eye is still an incredibly powerful um, rank 7, and then two Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragons. Again, these are game winners, um, burning your opponent out, reviving your Red Eyes. There's a lot of plays to be made with those. Anyway, that is it for the deck profile. Quite straightforward, um, but very, very powerful. It does have a couple of other options. Um, so your other options are you go for the Serial Spell play, which means you play Serial Spell, um, Red Eyes Inferno, uh, and you've got to just hope to burn your opponent first turn, or of course you can burn your opponent multiple times throughout the game, depending on what you've got. You've got the Rhapsody version, um, where you rely on the Spellcasters, but you've got to fill up your grave a little bit more, bring them back, and kind of move your place forward that way. So you want to be playing stuff like Dragon Shrine or Foolish Burial and kind of work it that way. So it does give you a couple of options to play with. Regardless, thanks for watching. I will be doing a test hand video for you guys just to kind of show you how the deck operates. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, guys, happy dueling.
Also, YouTube, thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And, of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more debt profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.